How's it going, everybody? My name is Chris, and this is Flip the World. This channel is all about going to Goodwill bins or Goodwill outlets and finding things to sell on eBay and Poshmark. I specifically cater to shoes. That's why they are all around me. But I do have a second eBay store that sells miscellaneous items that I know just from doing this a while I can make money on. TI-83+. Plus. TI-92 plus. So I do get other things, but this is pretty much a video showing you the first shoe haul from the Goodwill bins of 2021 and also to kind of highlight that you can find amazing stuff at the bins or the outlet store because a lot of people have a misconception that it's all just the trickle down trash from Goodwills, but it's actually not. Uh, I used to do about 15 different Goodwill stores a week as a route. And once I started just concentrating at the outlets when they finally came to Houston, I'm finding more inventory quicker and I'm spending less time driving around and I can do more time cleaning and listing. So without further ado, if that sounds like something you're into and you want to learn how to make some extra money in 2021, like, share, subscribe, thumbs up, hit the bell notification. You like that? That's a little take on the uh, Goodwill logo I did because that's how much I love that store. Flip the world goodwill ripoff shirt we have it in our store flipTheworldtx.com. go ahead and get you one show some support let's get into this video 33 pairs of shoes starting 2021 off right <laughs> All right, well, I pulled a few pairs to the side here. I'm not going to go through the entire 33 pairs, but I did want to showcase some of the great finds because, again, a lot of people think that you can't get quality shoes at the Goodwill outlets. And I go to the same one every time. They love me. I love them. And this is the stuff that I'm able to find. Nobody holds this stuff for me. Nobody's got it in the back waiting. I actually go there and I dig like the rest of everyone else there and find this stuff. So money's there to be made. What am I going to start with? Also, I'm going to show you some brands that I just learned about. So first off, I picked these sandals up. Reason I picked them up, they're heavy. I can tell that they're hand stitched. They say made in USA. This is a brand called Jack Rogers. They actually have pretty amazing sales comps. Definitely be on the lookout if you find these. Very good. At the end of this, I'm going to tell you what the buy cost for 33 pairs of shoes is. That way you can kind of see what I'm paying, what the per shoe buy cost is, and why the bins might be a better option for you to scale your business and make more money in 2021. So first off was the Jack Rogers. Now this next pair... It's not even the brand that I'm familiar with or even know exists. They're called Kraft. Kraft XS Trek. I saw the Vibram logo, and the missus actually found these. They're brand new with tags. But the reason that we picked them up for being a no brand that we've ever heard of is this right here. Chevron Houston Marathon. The largest marathon in Texas every year. Always happens in January. They canceled it this year because of COVID, but I'm pretty sure that we can put these on Marketplace and sell them very quick to a runner. New with tags. There are some on eBay that are blue that sell for $59, um, but these are the Breast Cancer Pink, and it says Run Houston on the toe box. Again, brand new with tags from the bins. Got some Adidas Samoa. What's cool about these is these are the tie-dye edition. So they have the awesome bottom with matching tie-dye rainbow accessories. These go for about 50 on eBay. Air Force Ones, Midnights. I mean, these are my size, but I don't really rock Nike. Little discoloration, but Magic Eraser will make it look bright. I don't do any of that Salon 40 stuff. I'm not uh, I'm not trying to sell. Plus, these aren't like a high-end. These are just some straight-up navy blue 
Air Force Ones. But again, great condition. Some Adidas Response Trail Boosts. These are awesome continental bottoms. They got the nice hiking, good flex, great condition. Trail Boosts between 35 and 60 actually yeah uh, these are i think an 11 which is an awesome size to sell another pair of air force ones these are some lows and these have got a cool stitch way nice on the back these go for between 40 and 60 used they still have the uh the actual buckles so bins you would probably pay 9.99 12.99 depends on your uh your region at a regular Goodwill store, somehow, outlets. This is a brand, this is a Bolo, be on the lookout. A lot of people slip on these. All birds, all birds. These are called wool runners. They are wool. Um, I've never really messed with a pair of the wool runners, mainly because I'm terrified of trying to clean wool. But since I got them at the bins and because my buy cost is so low, I figured why not take a chance and learn how to clean them. And if I mess up, I'll throw them away and never buy wool again. But I'm pretty sure that I'll be able to get these fixed. And these actually sell between 35 and 50 pre-owned. Some Air 270s. Uh, a lot of people skip on shoes that are gray or white because of dirt. But if you've watched any of my videos, especially my cleaning videos, that does not deter me. And also, these are my size. So if I can't get them looking good enough to sell, I will keep them as my running shoes. <laughs> I said running shoes. Do I look like I run? Anyway, um, I will keep these for myself, but these actually have amazing sales comps. And uh, you know what? I'll go ahead and include that one. I got three more pair and that's going to be it. Like I said, quick video. Just wanted to show you. Uh, these Retro 5 Reflective. These are the, uh, I want to say these are the Internationals. Retro 5 Internationals. But these are kids size 1Y. And you ask, why would you pick up kid shoes? Because they don't really sell and kids grow out of their shoes in like a week. Trust me, I know. I have a million of them, shoes and kids. But uh, the cheapest solds on eBay for these are $40. Everyone else is selling them for like 50 plus shipping. So great pickup, awesome condition. If you take a picture with your flash, these will be reflective. But some retro fives. I know they're dirty, probably upside down. Yeah, vintage polo, mock toe, laces inside, the leather laces are inside. One thing you wanna do with vintage boots or really anytime you get vintage shoes is you want to make sure that you're bending them in the store or in the bins. You wanna make sure that the heel's not gonna crack and it's not gonna separate because that happens with old shoes. They just, over time, they harden. And then when you take that first, and then you're going to have a return request. And we don't like returns. Unless it's a customer. Ah. And last that I wanted to show you guys, and I picked these up. I don't plan on doing a lot of work on these. I probably won't even clean them because they are very, very rare and very, very old. I want to date these to 1970s. These are actually called the John Havlicek Superstars. You can tell they were either Asics or Adidas, but the, he was a superstar for the Boston Celtics in the 70s. Had his own shoe. You can see on the back, John Havlick. These things go on eBay used anywhere from 50 bucks for the white ones to $500, depending on condition. I think the pair that sold for 400 were brand new, which obviously, but um, if somebody's a Celtics fan, like a diehard fan, they will just buy these and just put them in a display case. Uh, these are size 11, which is awesome. And again, I probably am not gonna do much with these other than list these and hope that a super fan wants to buy them. 
And since my buy cost is extremely low, I can list them at a price to where they'll move fast. And I don't have to worry about, you know, I'm not trying to get $200 for these shoes. So it doesn't really matter to me. So I've said buy cost probably a hundred times in this video. Let me tell you what I spent. So I spent $102.50. I got 35 items. So if you take $102.50 and you divide it by 35 items, you get a buy cost of $2.92 per pair. So every pair of shoes, I'm going to put $2.92 on my spreadsheet. And with a buy cost that low, I could literally not even look up comps on any of these and just price everything at $35 or less and still make a ton of profit. And that's the name of the game, moving shoes as quickly as possible so I can get more shoes. But that's it, guys. The first shoe haul of 2021, 33 pairs of shoes, some old calculators that I know will sell. And the one thing I didn't show you, the 35th item, is I picked up this LiftMaster three-button remote because these sell for like $20 because you can, uh, they're universal. You can charge them. But always be on the lookout for small things like this because these do sell because everyone loses these. Go to the outlets if you have one near you. Go to goodwill.com, I think is their website, and just type in Goodwill Outlets and put your zip code and they will show you where the closest ones are to you. That's what this channel is about, showing you how to make money going to the Goodwill Outlets, but also showing you tips on shoes and how to resell and how to retrain your brain. Again, guys, if you like these kind of videos, go ahead and subscribe, hit the like button, give me a thumbs up. And uh, consider thinking about uh, hitting that bell so whenever I drop new videos, you will be the first to see it. Go ahead and leave me a comment. Tell me if, uh, if shoes are your thing, if you've ever sold shoes. And if you have sold shoes, what's the biggest shoe, uh, biggest flip? Uh, also, we have all kinds of Flip the World merch at Flip the World TX. That's the website. It's a one-stop shop for everything we got going on. You can check out our eBay store, see what we're selling. If you see something that you like, hit us up, contact us. Maybe we'll all make you a deal. We'd love to help you out. So that's it. Thanks, guys. See you on the next one.